Hey plant fam, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not really my jungle, it's my kitchen. It's not my favorite background in the world, but it's fine, we're doing it. Um, if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So I'm in my kitchen because this is the only table that I have to repot on. And that is what we're doing today. We're gonna repot some Hoya because you guys said you wanted me to take you along on this long ass journey of repotting all of my Hoya. There are still like four trays, I think, uh, those little clear plastic trays that I have in my greenhouse of Hoya that are still like in moss and stuff like that. And then I also have in the bedroom on top of my cabinet, these little glass terrariums. I have quite a few of these. I have two in the bedroom and I have two out here in the living room because it actually helps stop my cat from being able to eat my plants on the shelves. Um, and this one just kind of acts as like a pretty propagation box for me. So I have all of these gorgeous Hoya cuttings in here, um, except for this one I think is like a Cebu blue that's like kind of like not the happiest plant in the world, but they're pretty much overdue to be repotted. I also have a couple in water that are like really nasty. So I'm ready to go into some soil. So I figured that's what we're gonna do today because I'm pretty tired. And um, this is just something that I need to get done. So I figured we would do it together. I'm using my black glitter mat from Mats by Cat. I will leave it linked down below for you guys if you wanna go and check her out. She's located in Massachusetts and she's really sweet. I did a giveaway with her on Instagram not long ago. I need to do another one soon. I just don't know what, I don't know what I wanna give away this time. So this is a more like rectangular one that I have from her. Bigger than what I need today, but I wanted to show it to you because it's really pretty. Um, and then I have the other iridescent one that's more of like a square, so. You have all the sizes that you need for all of your different projects. And then I'm using my usual soil mix, but I'm going to show you in case uh, this is your first time hanging out with me while we repot. So whatever you use as like your soil base isn't going to like matter as much, just like maybe not miracle Grow, But like not trying to shade anybody who uses miracle Grow. it's just... They use synthetic stuff and I'm not a big fan of that. So I use the organic potting mix from Espoma. Um, this one is really nice because it has this mycotone in it, which helps the roots of the plant. Um, so, and it's already got the worm castings in there and all these other beneficial things. I do add in more of my own worm castings, which is just fancy for worm poop. Um, so there's that also just like organic. And then I have my Better Grow Orchid Mix, which is orchid bark, charcoal, and perlite. So this is really good for making sure that the water is aerated, the water, the soil is aerated and not heavy. And then I also still have a little bit left of my Soul Soils Chunky Perlite. I need to go pick up some more. Absolutely love this product, but since I don't have a ton of it, I am gonna be adding in today some of these Lekka balls. So normally these are used for like growing plants in semi-hydro but I don't usually do that. Um, and I have this bag that I purchased a long time ago thinking that I was gonna try and maybe put some of my plants in semi-hydro, but mm, it didn't happen. So I'm just gonna use it to help aerate the soil 
uh, in my mix today. So I just tend to mix it as I go. Some people like to make a big tub of it. I don't really have anywhere to store a big tub of it. So that's my story. Now let me show you the Hoya that I have here that I started all of these as unrooted cuttings. Um, and this one I did just recently cut. So it's going to be hard to see what it is because I cut off the variegated bit. There are going to be mealybugs here and there. So I definitely need to wash these all as well and spray them down because I can see a couple in here floating around. I've been like on top of it though. So there's not um, a lot anymore. Thankfully they got a little out of hand for a little while, but I can see some really nice roots going on in here. So I feel like this one is ready. And this is my Hoya Weyliniana variegated. So you could see it's got a little bit of variegation here. Some of these newer leaves growing off of this side are just green. So I did cut the top here where it was variegated, hoping that it would encourage it to branch out with more variegation. Um, so I guess we'll see what happens, but would really like to get that one out of moss. And then over here, I have one that I'm kind of afraid to take out of moss because this was a struggle plant for me and it's finally starting to do well. I just also see a mealybug, so let me get that so I don't gross you guys out. Um, and this is the Hoya, oh shoot, did I lose the tag? I thought I had it written on here. So of course I can't remember it off the top of my head, but I'll leave it on the screen for you because I do have it somewhere. This one's getting a little bit too much light in the window, so that's why it is sun stressing weird. Um, so that's fun. A lot of these had like thrips on them at one point in time too, so you'll see some old damage on some of the older leaves. But this one was a real struggle for me to propagate, and I can't remember the name of it, but it's growing. It's growing, and it is healthy, even though it doesn't look like it. Hoya just do that sometimes when, <laughs> when they're into um, bright of light, because this leaf is, is healthy. So I am going to repot this today and hopefully get it into a lower light situation. So this one here is exciting. This is my Hoya Obovada variegated splash. So it's like the splashy and variegated one. And it's super cute. And obviously I just bought it as this little cutting, but I also... Um, snagged it because it has this peduncle and it is starting to get ready to bloom. So I'm excited. Um, I'm hesitant to repot it for that reason. I don't want the plant to like go into shock or anything, but I feel like it's plenty rooted and ready to come out of here. So it is just in moss and I don't want to leave them in moss for too long because they can be really, really annoying to get out of moss. And this is super dry. So I do have a cup of warm water here and I'm just going to kind of let this soak in here. Normally I would run it under the sink, but I don't feel like having to get up over and over again. So I figured we would just do it this way and see how that works. So I'm gonna leave that in here to soak because it's going to be a lot easier to get the moss off of the roots when it's wet. So next we have this cutting from my friend Miles. I did like a trade with him a while back. And this is the Hoya Australis. Crash is making music for you. Hoya Australis KCA, KCI, I think is how you say it. Um, highly recommend. The leaves are kind of fuzzy and really cute. It started out as just this little cutting here for me and it 
It grew pretty quick. It took off pretty quick for me. And I think the only reason why the growth might be a little bit stunted and why the growth like failed a couple of times here is because it's still in this mossy, at least I put perlite in this one. So the perlite will actually help so that the moss doesn't get so dense around the roots if you are like me and you end up leaving them in there for too long. Um, this one was also from Miles. It is just a little baby Cebu Blue that I'm actually surprised is still alive. Um, but we're going to leave this one alone. Since it's teeny tiny, I'm just going to leave it in that. And then we have this Philodendron. Not Philodendron. What's wrong with me? Hoya. <laughs> this is the Bai Bua. It's a latifolia or macrophylla variety, and it gets this like inner variegation. So this one's not looking its best. It's got some mealybugs on it, which is fine. It's totally fine. Um, it definitely like it needs some love. So I'm thinking that it's probably rooted enough by now that it can come out of here and go into some soil and maybe, you know, put it in a less bright spot because these are literally directly in a west facing window and it's kind of a lot. So, so I only put my Hoya in there that like can handle it and get sun stressed. I think that this Australis has been doing fine purely because it has like the those hairs on the leaves to kind of protect it. Um, and then this one, this one is exciting because this is the Hoya Lacanosa Luisa Silver. And I just love it. It's a, literally a Hoya Lacanosa with just straight silvery leaves. Um, and it's probably my favorite Lacanosa that I have because I'm not, I'm not a huge Lacanosa person. I know there's some Hoya collectors that are like obsessed with Lacanosa and want to collect them all and I'm just not one of those I'm not one of those people but I am one of those people that wants all of the silver ones so that is what I have here I bought it as a little baby cutting I think from Geronimo growing Jill on Instagram she does amazing story sales and I highly recommend checking them out. Geronimo growing with a G, no space in between or anything like that, I don't think. So you should probably go type that in and find her. Um, she gives like the best deals. So there is that. And then in water here, I have this Hoya. I'm pretty sure this is the Macgillive Rayi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm obviously going to put the names of all of these on the screen for you guys. Um, this one was really struggling for me in soil. So I took it out and I cut it and I put it in water to reroot it. So I'm going to have to clean these roots off. But oh, did I break the new growth point off? I totally did. I told myself, be careful when you take this out because there's a brand new growth point. And what did I do? literally broke it and it's bleeding awesome hopefully it'll <laughs> put out another one but um at least it's actually rooted because it really wasn't before if you have hoyas that are in soil and they're struggling and you cannot figure out why i highly recommend taking it out and checking the roots hoya have very delicate roots sometimes they just all die and you have to reroot them so if you have a really stubborn Hoya, that's definitely one of the things I recommend doing. I have a video all about that, like how to get your stubborn Hoya to grow, like different things you can try. Um, if you want to check that out, I have, if you go to my playlists, it's the Hoya Care Tips playlist. There's lots of good info in there. So then I also have this Hoya Aldrichii that I chopped up because it was really sad. The leaves came out like all deformed and like bumpy and weird. So I chopped it up, treated it, washed it real good, all of that stuff and decided to just try and reroot it. And it has been rooting up just fine. This is also what's left of my variegated Hindu rope. 
I didn't want to throw it out because it was like alive. Ugh, mealybug, stop it, you're gross. Die. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's fine, I guess. It's not even rooting in the water. I don't know why I bother. But we do have this, um, what is happening? This growth plant <laughs> was like in the bottle weird so yeah this one is ready this is definitely ready to um to go back into soil you could see where the new roots came off of the old roots and um it's also got a growth point coming out of here so i'm gonna be gentle i'm gonna be gentle with that one and not not screw it up so i'm gonna turn you down so you can actually see what I'm doing instead of looking at my sleepy face <laughs> and get started on some of these poor Hoya that are in need of some love. It's a really gloomy day here. It sounds like it's raining. So we're just gonna have a chill one and repot some Hoya bag out of the way. Make sure that you can see me. There we go. That's better. Okay. So this one's been soaking in here. And it should be good to hopefully get this moss off of here and I'm going to be very very careful not to knock off this peduncle because that I will be upset about. Okay, so I got like as much off of the roots as I possibly can. You want to be really gentle, obviously. I almost use like my fingernails a little bit as like a comb and I just kind of gently go through when I get to this stage to try and get as much of the moss off of the roots as possible without pulling the roots off. It's inevitable that you're going to lose some roots but we don't want to lose like a lot of them for sure or else this plant is going to have a hard time hoya roots are very delicate and they usually don't have a very like large root system especially if it's a younger plant so that is why you're gonna hear me say and other people say that hoya like to be in smaller containers that is because they usually don't have the extensive root systems that we're used to seeing on other plants. So this one is all nice and ready to be potted up. I have my little clear guys here and sometimes I honestly will just put them right back into their plastic cups but with soil instead because they take up less space and sometimes I don't have enough root to fill this cup with but because this is such like a thick cutting I think it's gonna do a lot better in um this larger thing I would love to be able to like train this to grow properly <laughs> but that's fine maybe we can kind of plant it like this I don't know but let's um, mix some soil. So I'm going to take a couple scoops of espoma. But again, you can use whatever soil you prefer. Some people don't even like to use soil. Some people just use compost. Um, I like to start with a soil base. 
just kind of what I've always done. I will take just a teeny tiny bit of worm castings. We don't need a lot. Um, and then some orchid bark. This one you can actually just get at Lowe's. Um, if you don't have a Lowe's near you, you can also get it on Amazon. So, this is what it looks like. A couple of handfuls of that. We want it to be chunky, but not too chunky because then it doesn't hold on to enough water and then your girl needs to water all the time and that is hard for me to remember to do <laughs> so and then I'm going to put in some of my soul soils chunky perlite I forgot to mention that um, I have a discount code for 10% off if you want to check out this company they have their own pre-mixed chunky soil if you don't want to do what I'm doing and you just want to buy it already mixed look at how chunky this perlite is Taking chunky perlite to a whole new level. And if it's just a little too big, I'll squish it. Break it into a smaller piece. Um, really big fan of that. Not going to use a ton though because we don't have a lot left, unfortunately. So I am going to add in probably just a handful, not even, of these Lekka balls. To help aerate the soil but because it is clay it does also hold on to some of the moisture so now it's my favorite part the mixing <laughs> and that looks good to me just gonna do a little bit more soil the soil just helps hold on to the moisture when you water your plants so that, again, you're not watering them every day, unless that's something that you want to do. I don't have time for that. Sometimes you get these really big pieces, I try to break them. Come on. Okay, so then you guys know how the rest goes. Just gonna fill this up. Make sure there's plenty of like well draining stuff at the bottom there. And then you're gonna plop this guy in here. Try to get him like kind of upright. And backfill. I used to make it even chunkier than this, and then some of my Hoya started suffering because I don't like to water more than once a week. Um, you know, and it would be nice too if they could go a little bit longer than a week and not, you know, completely shrivel up if if I'm just, you know, not here or not really, <laughs> not really feeling it, you know. So there is that. I do like to put some bark on top as kind of like a top dressing. I think it just looks nice. So that's kind of just a me thing, an aesthetic thing that I enjoy. And then all that's left to do is just water this babe. Look at how cute it is. I tried to get this as straight up as possible, but if I move it forward any more than the leaf, is in the soil and I don't want it to rot. So I'm actually just gonna put this little piece of bark there for it to lean on. Cute. Maybe I'll try and, as it grows, like stick something. These have a really thick stem and they're very hard to train. So it's still a little bit bendy. I might be able to find I gotta find like a bamboo skew a bamboo a, a bamboo skewer so that is that one 
love the clear container so I can see what's going on in here. Um, but yeah, that's it. One down and um, many more to go. Okay, bam. So we did it. We finished repotting all the ones besides the Aldrichii because, um, well, I just didn't feel like it. <laughs> so we'll do that one next time. Um, I feel accomplished. We at least got, what, two, four, six, seven repotted today. I'm going to go through them again with you really quickly because I have to label them. If you guys have any questions definitely leave it down below this is my by boa b a i b u a so all that's left to do is water them i actually put my repotting mat next to the sink right here so i'm going to water them and then put them on there and let them drain out this is australis Got some Hoya Sirens. Wouldn't be a Hoya video if we didn't have Hoya Sirens, right? Um, if you're new here, that's just a joke that I made one time. Because we live in a very busy, um, we live at a very busy intersection here. And the ambulance and the police go by all the time, so, and the fire trucks. Um, here is the Louisa Silver. This was the Australis KCI. The fuzzy one. This is Louisa's Silver Lacanosa. 
I don't usually write the whole name. It's just anything to help me identify it. When I see Louisa Silver, I'll know. Um, I forgot to look up the name of this one before coming back to you. It's really bothering me that I can't remember. I kept wanting to say Species India, but it's not. Um, so we're just going to have to wait to label that one. This one's already labeled. I put it back in its original cup, so it says Weyliniana variegated. Hopefully we'll get more variegation for us. And then, I mean, I don't really need to label this one. It's just Obovada Inner with Splash. We'll do Inner Variegated Splash. Super cute. Excited to see this peduncle hopefully continue to open and not go into shock. But um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's also like growing from up here. If that dies back, then I'm probably just going to cut cut this stem back to where the peduncle is so that we can have less of a wonky <laughs> looking plant. And then this one is the Mac... Gillivrayi, which I kind of remember how to spell. Maybe not. I'll have to look it up. <laughs> but it's cute. It has really cool blooms. Um, and I'm glad we were able to get it to bounce back. I'm kind of mad that I knocked off the new growth point, but hopefully it'll grow from a different place for us soon. I'm going to need to find like a deeper pot. It looks kind of awkward in this pot, but I figured maybe if I stake it up or trellis it up on something that it'll uh, look better. This dead stem here. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I like rooting my Hoya in moss. I usually add in perlite. These were pretty old. <laughs> so that was probably before I started really doing that like 100% of the time. Um, so yeah, the reason why I do that is because it is easier to transfer them over. These plants will be in less shock um, going into soil than this one going from water straight to soil. So in case you missed it, what I have been doing with a lot of them as well is getting them started in water um, because that seems to be the fastest for activating root growth from my experience after doing this for a few years um and once i see the little root nub start to poke out then i'll actually move them to the mossy perlite mix to continue working on those roots so if you're wondering how you can get them to grow root and grow pretty quickly um that is what I do. So that is it for this video. I'm curious if you could leave me in the comments below, if you could pick just one of these to add to your collection, which one would you pick? Cause I do feel like these are more like rare, less common um, Hoya that people tend to have in their collection. So I'd be curious to know if you could add one to your collection today, which one would you choose? So that's really it. Um, I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me, even though I'm like a hot mess and all that jazz, but that's kind of been the theme lately because I've just been really tired. I'm not gonna lie, I've been feeling um, just like run down, my body hurts and I'm, I'm just tired. <laughs> so there's that, but I have been doing my best to rest and make sure that, you know, I'm not overdoing myself. So, um, which is hard because I'll go to the gym in the morning and then pretty much not have energy in me to do much else. So, you know, normal stuff when you are dealing with a chronic illness, unfortunately. So there is that, but otherwise we're good. Don't worry about me. I am fine. I just like to keep it real with you guys just because it's really hard to hide things from you guys anyway. I'm the kind of person who's just like very transparent, like even when I'm not trying to be, like you can tell 
by my face how I'm feeling usually like I'm not good at hiding it so if I'm having an off day I'm just gonna tell you guys that I'm having an off day I've just been having an off like week so um I missed an upload yesterday and then tomorrow I was thinking maybe we would do a live stream in the afternoon to get more of this repotting done together and we can talk while we do it so yeah that is it <laughs> you should definitely give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with me don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me uh there's a join button you guys know all this already i appreciate you like a lot like a lot a lot you know that i love you right and um I hope you're having a beautiful day. Hopefully not a rainy, muggy day like we have here in Connecticut today. But um, either way, I hope it's a beautiful day. And I also hope I see you in the next one. Bye.